Hi, welcome to this video looking at the numeracy 5 a day for Cobbett Maths, okay, we're looking at April the 2nd here. Okay, we're going to start with question number one. Work out the area of a rectangle with length 8 centimetres and width of 3. Well, the area of a rectangle by definition is the length times the width. So it's 8 times 3, which is 24. And then the units is centimetres squared. Okay. So the area is always unit squared, it's metre squared, centimetre squared, millimetre squared, okay, these types of units, okay. Work out the area of a triangle with base 8 and a height of 6, well the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2, so it's 8 multiplied by 6 and it's all divided by 2. 8 times 6 is 48. 48 divided by 2, okay, is 24, okay, centimetres squared, okay, a half of 48, okay. And if you're unsure of how I've done that, I've said, okay, well, a half of 40 is 20, a half of 8 is 4, 20 plus 4 is 24, but I could have done it by the bus stop method. Okay, so if you weren't sure on how to get the answer straight away, then you could always use the bus stop method. So how many 2s go into 4, 2, and the remainder is 0? How many 2s go into 8? Well, the answer is 4, because 2 4s are 8, and there are there is 0 left over. Okay. Next question, 384 add 124, okay, so it's column addition here, guys, okay, so, 1, 2, 4, 4 plus 4 is 8, 8 plus 2 is 10, so 0 carry the 1, 3 plus 1 plus 1 is 5, so the answer is 508. Okay, for that question. Okay, fourth question, 43 times 28. Now, there's multiple different ways of doing this. Okay, I'm going to do it by what I call, like, the Chinese, like, lattice method. So, hopefully, it will become clear in a minute how to, like, work this out. Okay. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split everything like this. Okay, let's just close off these boxes here. Okay, and I'll put like a little time sign because remember time sync. Okay, 3 times 2 is 6, so I'm going to put 6 units. 0 and then 6. 3 times 8 is 24, so... 24, okay, 4 times 2 is 8, so 0 tens and 8 units, and 4 times 8 is 32, and then all I do is just add my numbers that are diagonal, I've got 4 there, 6 plus 2 plus 2 is 10, 0 carry the 1, 0 plus 8 plus 3 plus 1 is 12, carry the 1 again, and 0 plus 1 is 1. So the answer I get is 1,204. Okay, so this is what I call the Chinese lattice method. Okay, so I've seen this before actually, like I've seen a video on this. So, and I, I really, 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 really like, like this method. So I thought I'd give it a go. But you were welcome to do it like the traditional way of column multiplication or even the box method, okay? Of timesing 40 by 20, 40 by 8, 3 by 20, and then 3 by 8, and then add your answers together, okay? 
Any method is fine. Okay, next question. Simplify 3x plus 4x minus x. Well, 3x plus 4x is 7x. 7x take away 1x is 6x. Okay, treat it like pounds, guys, or pennies. Okay, 3 pounds plus 4 pounds is 7 pounds. Take away 1 pound, so I've spent 1 pound. I get 6 pounds. Okay, so treat it like that when you're collecting like terms. I collect all my x together okay next question simplify 5w times 3w well 5 times 3 is 15 and w times w is w squared okay or w to the power of 2 so 15w to the power of 2 or 15w squared okay next question solve this equation well i'm going to add 3 to both sides to balance the equation okay because i want to isolate and get x by itself 4x is equal to 29 plus 3 which is 32 dividing both sides by 4 okay because 4x means 4 times x or x times 4 so dividing both sides doing the inverse operation dividing 32 by 4 we get the answer to be 8 okay next question if x equals 5 work out 3x plus 9 so it's substitution so it's 3 lots of 5 3 times 5 plus 9 well 3 times 5 is 15 okay 15 plus 9 is 24 okay so just to be clear here the answer to this part gives us 15 15 plus the 9 Okay, gives us 24. Okay, last question, guys. I've got the number 372810. Work out the range. The range is the biggest number, take away the smallest. So 10 take away 2. Okay, the difference between the biggest and the smallest is 8. Okay, work out the median, so putting the numbers in order of size from smallest to biggest or biggest to smallest, doesn't matter which way around you do it, okay, 7, 8 and 10, okay, and I've got to find out the middle number and I do that by crossing off each side respectively, okay, the number I get in the middle is 7, Okay, so 7 is my median. Okay, last question, part C, work out the mean. The mean is the hardest one, okay, normally, or the trickiest. Okay, 3 plus 7 plus 2 plus 8 plus 10. So you add up all the digits, and then you divide it by the number of pieces of data you have. Okay, so essentially, think of it as like the meanest, like, process to do because you're adding up like a list of numbers and then dividing it by the total number of data so treat it as like the meanest thing okay it's a, it's a little pun there and i appreciate it's probably not that funny but i thought i'd share it okay t plus three is five five plus seven is twelve twelve plus eight is twenty plus the ten is thirty thirty divided by five so how many fives go into thirty the answer i get is six Okay, so the answer to part C is 6. Okay, 6 is my mean. Okay, 6 is my average out of the list of numbers. Okay. Right, guys, that is the end of today's video. So I sincerely hope you found it useful. If you did, please hit that like button so it pushes it out to more people. Okay, and it helps the YouTube algorithm and recognizes that my videos are doing well. Okay, uh, subscribe to my channel if you're new. And lastly, click that bell icon so you don't miss out on further videos and further uploads. Okay, but thank you so much for watching. Take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.